this Mark II is having its chassis rails replaced, along with the sills. Um, chassis rails were replaced first before we open up the sides to put the sills in. As you can see here, the outer seal is removed. But prior to that, we repaired the chassis rail and that's the new chassis rail that's in place. This one's been installed with a closing panel on the top. One of the problems is that water gets in over the top, either through splashing or condensation, accumulates inside and rusts the chassis rail out from inside out quite often. Um, this one's been butt welded up against the old chassis rail, albeit the front section's new because that had to be replaced earlier. Um, in this instance, it's been made from 2 mil thick 14 gauge galvanised steel. And that runs the length of the car. So we've retained the original rear end of the chassis rail. And that butts up to the front end. One of the problems is that Martin Robies don't make these chassis rails, they leave it up to the restorer to make. And an important reason to replace the chassis rail is that if you look there, we've got the anti roll bar. This is a Harvey Bailey engineering anti roll bar, so it's one of the thick ones, one inch, I think. Um, and that puts quite a fair bit of stress on everything. It doesn't damage anything, but it just that you need to have a good set of chassis rails to hang something like that from. And one of the things that people don't tend to do during restorations is replace this chassis rail. Um, if you've got handling problems, like under heavy braking, it could be that your car is twisting excessively because this thing's rusted out. In addition, if you've, if the front end of your sill is rusted through, then there's nothing for the sills to be hanging onto, or the rest of the body for the for that matter, and that too will lead to quite a fair bit of torsional weakness in the body shell. So this one's been restored previously. Seems fairly substantial repair that's gone in there. So I've had to remove the old chassis rail by drilling it out from above and then plug welding it all the way along the floor pan from the front to rear. And that'll be done on both sides, along with the sills. Um, the new floor pan will be as well on top. 